Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Ni Hua Chong, uh, and uh, uh, today I want to share my work uh, with uh, Mi Xie, who is my PhD student. As we all know that uh, uh, the corporate debt uh, of PRC has been surged uh, for the past decade, and uh, uh, it has driven a lot of concerns. Uh, Standard and uh, uh, according to one report by Standard and, and the Poor in 2014, uh, the, the, uh, the PRC's total corporate debt has been the largest in the world uh, since 2013. So that's eight years ago. And some reports uh, further predict that the corporate debt will become less sustainability uh, as the growth slows, especially with the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. So uh, against uh, this background, uh, we have analyzed, uh, uh, we have analyzed uh, various data, data set, including 4 million observations of Chinese industry firms. And uh, uh, let me briefly summarize uh, what we have found. Uh, first, we found that unlike uh, the United States, the rising total debt to GDP ratio in PRC is mainly driven by the corporate sector. Uh, in United States, the debt are mainly in uh, uh, household sector. Furthermore, the, the corporate debt in PRC is very structured. It means that much of the debt is actually concentrated in a very small fraction of firms. Uh, mostly, they are large state-owned and listed ones. Uh, to be more specific, uh, about 2,000 uh, large firms has uh, uh, has accumulated a lot of debt. Uh, I would provide more detailed data later on. Uh, in contrast, the majority of other firms has been deleveraged continuously over decades. We further study the effect of the implementation of supply side structural reform, uh, which is uh, uh, which is a very important reform. China's government take uh, since, two, since the end of 2015. Uh, and uh, we studied the effect of this uh, supply side structure reform. And we found that this reform is quite effective in the sense that it has reduced the debt ratio of state-owned enterprises and has also improved the performance of state-owned enterprises. And lastly, we examined the impact of COVID-19 and we found that uh, uh, COVID-19 has hit the profitability and the solvency of Chinese firms, uh, but uh, China's government has taken uh, significant policies to buy out firms. And uh, as a result, the uh, effect, the impact of COVID-19 uh, on Chinese firms is uh, temporary and uh, little. So these are the four uh, conclusions our study has concluded it.